what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we just got the first official teaser for jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers reborn now the teaser did confirm two well not two one thing that i've brought up in the past and another thing that i've kind of waited to talk about because i didn't know if she would actually be in the movie but now that she's been shown in this teaser um i'll just go out and say that matt barkley who i talked about playing a character named jamie in another video was shown in this trailer peter brook was also shown not trailer but teaser peter brook was also shown in this teaser uh those of you who've watched wonder woman 1984 you know who peter brook is and we now also have confirmation from this teaser that ocean navarro is in jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers reborn she has actually gone ahead and posted it on her instagram story to also confirm it as well so this honestly just kind of baffles me in the sense that I don't know why you didn't just announce them with the two other cast members. Well, actually, four other cast members that you already announced over the weekend last week. So, like, I just, I don't get it. The trailer, the teaser in and of itself confirms their participation. So, why not just tack them on to the already two leading cast members that we already kind of knew about uh, for many months? Many of us did anyway. Not all of us, but many of us who have been digging and digging and digging into this. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about was that with the teaser overall, I would say I was pleased. I didn't think it was short. So in a way, I do think they dropped the ball there <laughs> only because of the fact that, you know, you've been you've been giving up this this minute long interviews with Timo. And now we got one with Sydney Craven, who I I have full confidence that she she just something about her just seems like she's gonna knock this out of the park give us a very much more convincing performance more compelling performance as compared to what we got with jeepers creepers 3's protagonist so i just think that she'll knock it out of the park there but this was just still lacking only because to me anyway i felt it it what was disappointing was how you've been giving us these minute long things but now that we get a teaser it's only 15 seconds but then again at the same time you have me yearning for more so i have a very much love hate relationship with this marketing right now uh the film overall looks like it is going to be a step up in terms of quality compared to the third movie obviously that like literally it just looks leaps and bounds better visually than the third one it just does it looks leaps and bounds better visually now whether or not the other technical strengths will kind of save some of the other aspects i'm concerned about we'll have to wait for a full-fledged teaser or full-fledged trailer and to actually see the movie for ourselves the only concerning part i saw the creeper looking like skin and bones but again then again you know i'm just having a very hard time thinking that it is necessary to see this monster like this why can't we just see him back at full strength but you know i have to see how it unfolds on screen i have to see how it unfolds on screen we didn't really get to see too many good shots of the creeper so i guess they were playing it smart there uh, hopefully that's not a sign of them not having confidence in the monster they've created because again i am hoping jaru benjamin does a terrific portrayal of the creeper and just kind of makes it his own thing while paying respects to what has already come in the past with jonathan breck who many of us are hoping that if they knock it out of the park here with this fourth entry of him reawakening we'll get that fifth entry that would hopefully bring jonathan break back but then also in a way aren't you kind of just stepping over the work that ja ru has done if he knocks it out of the park and <laughs> makes me believe okay i want to see you back as the creeper again i really just feel that though if if what they're planning on doing is launching a new trilogy something about this just screams you know let's work with our budget this time around we can't get jonathan we're not, we're not even going to bother to ask him or tell him about the project let's just work within our budget make the story confined to this house of pain which isn't a bad idea like i said before the problem with the third movie was not was them not wanting to work with their budget they were trying to do way too much for things that it just seemed like they clearly couldn't afford to make visually acceptable on screen whereas with this one in this new teaser it feels like the movie is going to be very much confined to the creepers new house of pain once lane gets abducted at the uh, horror hound festival and we see lane at the it looks like it looks like chase is there with peter brooks character who's we who i've told you his name Stu. we have matt barkley's character there who again his name is jamie and then we've also now seen ocean navarro 
who I don't know what character she's playing, but they all seem to be at the House of Pain, presumably they're looking for Lane, who got abducted by the Creeper at the Horror Hound Festival. And we only know this, this is the most likely case because of some other behind the scenes images that Sidney Craven has shown over the coming weeks. The cinematographer who worked on it also shared these images on his story related to Jeepers Creepers Reborn. So my hope is that that's what they're doing. They're working with their budget and just working with this confined space environment. Uh, very much like Jeepers Creepers 2 in ways, but of course this is a, a much bigger environment than just a, a school bus, which ironically, which is a, still a very funny to me considering that Jeepers Creepers 2 is the most, has the highest budget out of this franchise, yet a lot of it is confined to that, to that bus. <laughs> so I would hope that what we have here is that if they go that route, Let's see what happens with our fourth entry. Let's see if this actually kicks us off in the steps that people want to see more of these movies. And then we'll bring... We could, You can still bring Ja Rule back. We can bring, bring Ja Rule back. Bring Jonathan Breck back. Have them share the role of the Creeper in a way. Because like I said before, you can do that. Knowing how they've done it with Michael Myers in the Halloween franchise with Nick Castle and James Drew Courtney. I think you could find a way for, for Ja Rule Benjamin to still be very much involved in portraying the Creeper on screen. Uh, even if Jonathan Brett comes back to be the main force of the creeper that we see on screen, I feel like what they're doing here is just if this plays out well, Jaru could come back, you can bring Jonathan Brett back, and we'll have the fully now grown and developed creeper being taken over back by the man who brought it to life in the original film, Jonathan Brett. Assuming that if this movie kicks it off into the, the trilogy that they hope it will, you'll be able to put out more money so that way you can go get a Jonathan Brett and you can still bring Ja Rule back and they can share the role in some capacity. Jonathan can be the main version of the Creeper that we see on screen in the Jeepers Creepers 5. Meanwhile, Ja Rule shares the role with him by doing the other minor things, but who knows? They did have some very cool shots of the Creeper throwing stars. Just cinematography did look did look very much vibrant. Uh, looks like it's going to be very action-packed also. So I can't wait to see what other things they have in store for us. The teaser wasn't disappointing. I just wish it was longer. I just wish it was longer. We did see glimpses of the Creeper truck in on the inside anyway. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications in this video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video. Also, last thing I want to point out is that they did confirm that it's coming out next year. So we got to wait.